Almost two weeks after debris fell from the Plaza Tower, several major roadways downtown still remain closed. Those streets will only reopen after the property owner secures that area. So we asked City Hall today if they could take any action if things don't start moving more swiftly. At the edge of downtown, it's still a traffic nightmare. And for local businesses like G's Pizza, they say the road closures are bad for business. It's a total inconvenience. Uh, customers already have hard enough trouble navigating the CBD. The streets near Howard and Barone and all the way down to Loyola have been closed since late May. That's when debris fell from Plaza Tower, injuring one person and damaging vehicles. One day after that, city leaders announced that the streets would reopen after the property owner erected a new fence. But that hasn't happened. For us, obviously, you already said it, the priority is safety, making sure that we can safely reopen those streets uh, in a way that the netting set up. We asked leaders at City Hall if they could do anything to speed up the process. In terms of, uh, you know, potential actions with the developer, with the ownership, that's sort of a larger conversation. I don't know that we're there yet. WDSU Investigates did a series of reports on the tower just last month. It's abandoned and gutted, and people now want to see it secured. And it makes parking even more extreme and the drive time to simply go. Uh, we have a lot of people that work at the Superdome, that work at the post office. For them to literally go what would normally be a three-minute ride down the street is going to take 10 minutes now.